What's going on guys? Welcome back to another modern uh, laboratory on YouTube or Twitch or wherever you're watching this. Uh, today, uh, a friend of mine, Sarah, and uh, loyal viewer and uh, subscriber and Discord uh, contributor, uh, had a had a black white zombies list, and this is the list, and uh, wanted us to take a look at it and see if we can give her some thoughts and uh, maybe make some changes. The one thing that stands out to me, I mentioned it yesterday, in passing, um, I'm not thrilled on the Muta Vaults, because if you take out the Aether Vials, if you let's move them over here, you can't actually cast any of these uh, 26 spells with a Muta Vault. You just can't do it. There's no colorless mana symbols here, so you have to... Like, if one of your first two lands is a Muta Vault, you, will, you can't play any of these two drops. And with only 21 lands, you really want to play one of these two drops. So basically, if you want to play a two drop, you have to take these Muta Vaults out, move them over here, and you have these 17 lands to play a two drop with on turn two. If Muta Vault is your third land, that's great. That's fantastic. I also like that Muta Vault is a zombie, but the first thing I would do is cut a couple Muta Vaults down to uh, eight, probably, probably two, maybe. And Sarah did, in all fairness, Sarah did mention she was terrible with mana bases. If you guys ever want me have to have me look at one of your decks, uh, give it some feedback, check out my Twitch profile. You can, uh, it's down there. There's information on how to do that. Uh, Filk Money, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. 11 months in a row. I uh, hope you get, hope you get me something for our one year anniversary. That's coming up soon. Filk Money, you are awesome, buddy. Um... Other than that, though, I do like the Aether Vials, because the Aether Vials kind of take the place of putting creatures into play. So maybe you could turn one Aether Vial, and then, uh, well, that's still like a turn three, two drop, though. The other thing I want to mention uh, is that Bloodgast is not a zombie. He does a good, a good zombie impression, but he's he's kind of he's kind of cheating. Uh, he's, he's a vampire spirit. Um, he is, however, they, I'll say they, they are, however, nice to discard to Liliana. So that is a thing. Um, I don't know. This deck looks strong to me. I mean, I, I think you have a lot of, I think zombies, like a zombie deck like this had a good, uh, I, I think it, I think it was well positioned before. And I think like uh, adding some of these more, more recent cards like Lord of the Accursed or Diagraph Colossus or, you know, uh, Wayward wayward servant is is very good um one thing i might include is a couple of cavern of souls just so you can make sure these guys don't get countered and it also they also just they're just dual lands they're just black black white dual lands that let your guys not get countered the only thing you can't cast off of them is path or fatal push or liliana being double black could be problematic but i don't know we'll see uh i'm interested to see how this deck goes so Also, I, I don't actually dislike a second Urborg either because, again, you can discard it to Liliana if you need to. So that is that is definitely a thing. Uh, we'll just go friendly for now. Better things. Blackwood zombies. All right. I don't have any. My I am play point flush. Wait, no, that's that's when you have a lot. Um, play point Baron. Okay, that works. My dog's name Pig. Welcome back. Five months in a row. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. All right. Oh, this hand is great, I think. Turn two servant. I mean, it's a little slower than I'd like. If we can get a, a, a one drop. I also wonder if there's a place for a Dread Wanderer in the deck. Maybe not a four of because they are. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. Because they are kind of expensive to utilize the ability. But just as a, another one drop. Um, I saw this land and I immediately thought it was fairies. And then they played a Bitter Blossom. So maybe I'm not too far off. I was like, oh, a Lorwyn, a Lorwyn Island. Ha Fashionably late to the party, this guy. Nope, that ain't going to work. Um... There's a lot of things we can do here, which is nice. Uh, we might just discard Bloodgast, but... By playing Servant... Yeah, I'd rather have the Servant in play, to be honest with you. And we also get to deal a point. 
So the non either all version uses Dread Wander in place of Vial. Interesting. So basically, they're just going to die to their own uh, their own butter blossom. That's just how this works, right? Mono wayward servant dot deck over here. Well, they're one hundred percent going to. Whoa. I see. Pretty sure I want to draw a card here. And hope it's a black land. It was not a black land. I can't see you attacking here. That seems super aggressive. But this guy's lose life, gain life. Oof. I mean, if they try to kill one of these guys. Oh, you're going to miss mine. Click me. I understand. No. Joke's on you. I still got a thing. You got it. Land. Still not a land, huh? How about now? Nope, still not. Okay. Okay, lands. I see how you're going to do. Oh, God. Are we going to do it again? You got the double? Hmm. Well, no joke, two four four flyers is not great for us. Oh, you're gonna get ready to go on Mito Toots, alright. I see. Oh, that was a great draw. Has anything left the battlefield this turn? No. You always click on this and it should say cast only with yeah, two or less, alright. We don't have Messengers, and that's actually a card I'm very fond of. I will use that ability. So if we play Gravecrawler... We could cast Gravecrawler or we could cast Criftbreaker. I don't think either one is better here. I do kind of want to just jam with this zombie. If they block, we get to kill the Bitter Blossom one. Yeah, that seems fine. And they might just jump block here. Oh, they just take two. It's aggressive. I mean, presuming we can dodge an infest here, I think we're okay. I think I have Damnation. We have Gravecrawler Bloodgast in our deck. I'll go to 10. I'll assume you can't hit. Hmm. 
Interesting. Oh, they have cryptic command. I see. That might be the game. Like even if we, uh, even if we tried to um, draw cards in response, like there's nothing we can really do about that, unfortunately. If we, if they play Cryptic Command first, like they tap our team, we actually just don't have a response to Cryptic Command there. Like if they tap our team, draw a card, um, we get to play. Like, this is 8 in the air. This is 8 unblockable, right? Eight, no, 11 unblockable, rather. No, 11. 13 unblockable, rather. We got this. And the problem is that we just don't have... Like, even if we gain 2 from Crypto, we go to 12, and it's still lethal. So, we kind of have to just hope they don't attack with Crypto, or hope they don't have a counter spell. What is uh what does collective brutality go for now? Okay. Yep, seems good. I wish I had a way to sacrifice the thing. All right, you got it. Oh, literally one. We're like one one land away, like one tap land away. Like if we had another land, we could Crypt Breaker to gain two. It would put us at 12. We could kill this and go to 10. We'll see what our draw was. If it was a land, I'd feel bad. No, okay. All right, yeah, that's fine. Um, I want to take one of the pushes out for a path. I also think Collective Brutality should come in. We can take out one Bloodgast. I don't like Liliana in the against the uh, Bitter Blossom deck. Fifty nine, huh? I don't know what our odds are ever hitting a Kalidus with 21 lands. If we push the land, we still take 10. They still have 4, 4, 1, and 1. And we're at 10. God, I can hear him chewing ice already. I ain't chewing no ice. What are you chewing, man? You got some candy? I ain't chewing anything. Yeah, he's chewing something. Without the Lilianas, we can probably take out another Bloodgast. I'll add a Kalidus, and I'll add one Fragmentize, maybe. Add That's my brother, Kalidus. We grew up on the farm together. No, you didn't. Yeah, we did. No, you didn't. Me and Kalidus. No. Yeah, this deck might have uh, Jace that we're playing against. How you doing, man? You doing good? You doing weird? Okay, sounds good. God, you're so weird. All right, well, let's see if we can do it. Oh, this hand looks pretty good. I'll keep it. It's got a lot of zombies in it. Your mother's got a lot of zombies in 
her? Hmm. Great. <laughs> I'm just gonna go Urborg here. The thing is, we can crack this for a planes and and get a free Godless Shrine without taking the damage. So that seems better to me. And next turn we can just discard Grave Crawler, or we can just play double Grave Crawler. I don't know if that's better or not. I don't know how aggressive you want to be against the mono black deck. Or that's against the fairies deck. We can also just play Relentless Dead as well. We can also just play Gravecrawler, Grave Gravecrawler, Crypt Breaker, and then draw a card. Probably better to have more bodies on the board. I attack for one. I don't know. I thought we were drawing a card. I don't know. Boops. We, well, I'm not sure. I'm not I'm not 100% on it. Like, on one hand, it, I don't know. Okay, that's actually fine. We still have another one in hand, so we're good. Hmm. See, now I'm wondering if I just want to just run out. Yeah, we're just going to get a planes here. Like if they haven't played anything on turn on turn two and they just their first play is collector brutality, like that's fine. They didn't even escalate. I mean they're gonna infest, I bet. They didn't even escalate, you're right. No, just a fatal push. Okay. I'm saving this Crypt Breaker. If they have, like, Spell Starter Sprite here, they can't counter this, but they could counter a Crypt Breaker, so. And I don't have enough. I'll choose Wayward Zombie, sure. No. I think they just brought in Mono Removal. <laughs> Which is fine. We have grave crawlers, so Kalidus. Kalidus would be pretty good. So a damnation. Yeah, that's pretty good. Three cards, huh? I really want to just play Crypt Breaker here, but I'm going to play this because if they have removal for anything, it's very good for them. Damnation, another Kalidus, and Bitter Blossom. We will take the Damnation. Escalating against a tribal deck doesn't seem good here. Like discarding like a, a a bitter blossom doesn't seem good when you're gaining two, losing two. I don't know if that's true, but all right. So we know you have another Kalidus in hand, and that's pretty much it. Do we just the Lord of the Accursed here attack you for a million? Seems decent. Oh, uh, it's pronounced Dees. Is it? I think so. So you get a five, you get a four, and you get one draw step to not be a Kalidus. Ashiok is the real bay. You ain't wrong. So what up, cat? You decided you go to the other room, huh? <coughs> I will not block your 3-4 Kalidus. I will not give you a zombie. 
nor will I lose my lord. Oh, wow. That, the desperation there was real. So you can double block something. You're going to double block here. You're going to go to 10. Wait, you're going to take 9. Arg. Putting him to 1 still seems pretty decent. Yeah, but then they get a zombie. They get a 2-2. Two, two. And then they can make Kalidus a 5-5. Five, five. So then they go to 6. I actually like playing Mage here because we can um, block at the Kalidus and then kill like their Dark Slick Shores. Actually, if we put them to one, don't they just die to their own Bitter Blossom? Yes. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> so go activate. They block here. They gain three. They go to ten. But they take three, six, nine. No, they block. They they all get Menace. So. How do they all get Menace? This guy. Oh, oh I don't have the mana for that. I mean, you could do it now but then they yeah but then they still they, they get their damnation back is the other problem oh that was what we were, that was what we were afraid of there we're gonna draw uh, not you you and you that's not bad Okay. All right. I like that. Moonlight, welcome back. Glad to see you. Able to catch a stream. All right. So they're at virtual eight. They're going to gain three. Oh, they're not going to gain three. Hmm. Here he goes. Here he goes. All right, so now we can activate this. We don't know anything you have in your hand, though, unfortunately. So if they if they happen to top that cryptic command on the past two cards, it's really bad for us. Yep. Hmm. They did not. They did not. That should do it. Double block there. All right. Uh, we'll kill this guy. And I think... All right. Sounds good. Magic is a game that you play with zombies. Is there a Mike only Patreon? That should be the swamp tier. I can make the swamp tier. You only have to deal with Mike forever, and uh, you'll never we'll never interact together again. Hmm. We're on the play here. No, we're on the draw. Do we want Thoughtseize? We I feel like we do want Thoughtseize. Probably over Brutality, because it can hit Bitter Blossoms, it can hit Mistbind Clicks. Yeah, alright, we'll be Thought Season. Oh, the Ice Tier, I like it. I like it, that's the a good snow tier. tier. The Snow Tier? The Snow Covered Island Tier. Oh man, we would have, we would have activated our Lord of the Accursed. They would have disallowed us if it was standard. Uh, disallow. Oh no. Well, it's modern though. They could have just cryptic commanded the whole thing. You could also be playing disallow on modern. It's possible. Timmy Hearthstone, I uh, I I have been writing for Magic websites for ten years now. So yes, the answer would be yes. Did you give away the empty? No, I didn't. I forgot about that. Fierce Wars, uh, did you have... Uh, uh, 
Who who are gonna give me the, who are gonna give me the keys? I forgot who they were. Who's going to give you keys? I give you keys. Yeah, large Brennan. Brennan, I thought you were a jerk when I wrote for TCG. I was like, get a load of this guy, man. What an actual. I thought you were the kind of guys, the kind of guy, uh, that the internet cultivated and made into a worse guy. And then I got to know you, and I was like, oh, you're a lot nicer when you're not that guy. And I think you realize that as well. All right, this is this is good. This is our either vile hand. Um, I don't. Ha I any thoughts on the MCG at closed beta? Um. I like it less than I like games like Hearthstone and Magic Online. So if if I was comparing it to those three games, I would put it at a distant number three. Can't cast only good against Gravecrawler. That's about it. That is only good against Gravecrawler. I don't even have any Gravecrawlers. No, I do. I was just kidding. Well, they're not in your hand. You're not in my hand. Correct. Got him. Did you? He's so gotten. So now we have one, two, three, four for Aether Vials, and we can just attack with Mutavault next turn. What a time to be alive. <coughs> Yokes McOaks, what's going on, buddy? It's the return of the Yokes. Don't call it a comeback, though. Do we just attack with Mutavault? Do we run our, our Mutavault into a... Whatever. You got Fatal Push? I accept. Uh, I don't know about this. Yeah. Oh, cast down. Sure. What do I need lands for anyway? I got I got either Bob. To play your lord boy. My lord boy. Yeah. What's a lord boy? Yoakum, fifty months in a row. Oh my god. That is unheard of, my friend. It's a long time. Are you going to kill this guy during my up? No, that's... You're getting real aggressive right now, my friend. It's actually pretty good. We can put this guy into play. And then we can still uh, cast our Rustless Dead. Yeah, that's fine. I need to kill in response because you have nothing left. Wow. <laughs> okay. Deal. Well, at least they have nothing left. I guess that's true. All right. So you have a water grave in hand, which I imagine you'll play. <coughs> and Frank started streaming during Arabian Nights. Mike wasn't even born then. Hey, I was around then, okay? I was very young, though. He was a young warthog. That's from The Lion King. This guy. Arabian Mike's like Arabian dads. Like Arabian Dad. Hey, a top deck dispel stutter sprite. Perfect for your crypt breaker. Right? That's what's going to happen. Right, magic. Right, magic. Come on. Oh. Alright. That's fine. It's a pretty good trade for you, I think. I mean, top deck and cryptic there was pretty good. That's actually fine. Doesn't kill anything, right? It kills nothing. I can't tell if we want to put if we want to put this to four. I think we actually just oh all right, so you have nothing. All right, perfect. So Liliana is basically dead. Yeah, during upkeep we'll put the Lord into play. And then we'll put a counter on it so we can play Kalidus for free next turn.
I mean, do we just cross our fingers that you don't have damnation and play the wayward servant? I mean, he has no cards in hand, so. But I'd rather keep mana up because if they have removal, it's really good against Relentless Dead. Like, Relentless Dead, I'd rather just keep it up so we can pay two and bring back, like, Relentless Dead and Crypt Breaker. I think that's a lot stronger here, so. Plus, it's a two turn clock either way. No, do not put another counter on it. That guy's good. I guess we're hoping you don't have... No, even if you can't have, actually... You actually can't have Mistbind Click because it just dies, right? Oh my god, stop killing my things. Nope, I think we're good on four. <laughs> good games. Yeah, this graph figure's cage is pretty much a blank, unfortunately. All right, one down. <coughs> I'm surprised how loud Felipe watching his phone is at the table. Like, you can hear it all the time. Is that what that is? Yeah. I thought that was TV. No. Yeah, you can hear him because he's got dinner. He's making dinner. Well, that was pretty good. The 3 2 dream is still alive. You're not wrong. Is that the dream? Uh, I'm pretty sure you can't cast creatures from your graveyard. I think you can still... They can still come back to play due to abilities. What'd you say? Is what the dream? Yeah. Three, two. Obviously, everybody knows that. I'm going to look it up, though, just to be sure. Creature cards can enter the battlefield from graveyards. Um. Okay, I guess that's also true. I messed up. There's no cage command, so I don't know what I was entering there. Cage. <laughs> What's he trying to do? Yeah, I'll keep this hand. You're right. Or libraries. I heard a noise. Then I just then I just heard crunch crunch. Mike Streamer, the only thing that makes a sound is Mike crunching things with his mouth. That's that's a good idea. What could possibly go wrong? Now the question is, do we play this guy or do we play... The, I think we always just lead this guy, right? I don't know, actually, because this is going to get two damage in, but this we can actually discard the Gravecrawler to make a free zombie and then just cast the Gravecrawler next turn. I mean, they're just going to fatal push it anyway. Oh, or lightning bolt it. Or forked bolt it. Okay, lightning bolt. Eh, it took three damage to do it, though. Yeah, what a dummy, am I right? <laughs> just look at the arms of the angels. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah McLaughlin. God. He's probably watching a really sad ASPCA commercial. Really sad dog commercial. Fatal push. I have all the... Oh, I see. Tassa Daddy. All right. Well, this is enough. This is enough. This is enough lands, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Six lands is probably where I draw the limit. Do you think we're dead? Too many lands? It's not good. Their, our turn two was a two one. Their turn two was a four five. Hmm. 
<laughs> no attack. We have changed our mind. Oh, another land. We're in luck, ladies and gentlemen. All lands should inherently have cycling three. I agree with you. I, I felt this way for years. That would be interesting. Real mature. Real mature, Degar. Oh, Degar. 12, huh? Degar, Ogar. Mike is like one of those crushed things on a scrapyard except for ice. When the mafia or gangsters in your area want something gone, they just freeze it and give it to Mike. Gone in seconds. Wow. That's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, sounds about right. No, he attacked. What a fool. Now we can attack. What a dodo. <laughs> Base this might actually be worse than the land at this point. I think it is actually. Probably is. I will untap my Tassiger with some means. Oh, I see. Snapcaster Lightning Bolt. Uh, quality play, if I ever saw one. I see you didn't want to block with your Snapcaster Mage. A wise strategy. I, I might agree with you, because I think the uh, the advantage bar is not uh, it's not in our favor right now. How does this deck every beat workshop aggro? Cool English, bro. I'll put a counter on there. I feel attacked. Attacked once again by the Moto Shuffler. Ever time. <laughs> nice. I think Liliana is actually great here because they have so few creatures. Uh, I don't like Fail Push here. I think it's just worse than, than Path for obvious reasons. Uh, I also think Thoughtseize is good because we can eat their... Tassigadio. Tassigadio. I like this one Kalidus, probably for a Bloodgast. Otherwise, I think this this is okay. Hoping to draw the one thought sneeze. Uh, it's one thought sneeze. Is it? I don't know. I will play first. I will keep this hand. Oh my god, that's not the button at all. Oh no. Oh, this is so much worse. Nothing happened. Well, well we're definitely keeping this. They went to 6 too, so it's okay. Everybody, it's okay. Mm, it's okay. That opener was pretty spicy. It's okay. It's okay. I'm convincing myself, not you. Okay. They might not like this six card hand. <clears throat> I wish there was a way to undo mulligans, but I understand why there's not. Because you could just be like, oh, this hand's worse. Oh, I accidentally clicked mulligan. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, that would never be a thing. Right. It's just, yeah, I can totally understand why it's not possible. You just basically took two hands for free. Decide which one's better. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna lightning bolt your crypt breaker every time. Doot and doot doot doot. Every time. White man? It was. Oh. We already we we scried it to the top. No. Oh. You didn't see that? No. Unbelievable. 
I will keep this hand. Shovel it back in. Well, I thought you said you were going to keep it. I misclicked. Clearly. Do this. What do we play first is a question. We can get a more damage with Wayward if we play up first, but then we don't get to see their hand. I want to see their hand. Hey man, you want me to draw you something obscene on that? Engineer explode and what? This? No, dude. Are no, you sure? I'm, I'm, no, man, I'm good. What do you think I'd draw? Probably some kind of wiener or something. Maybe. All right, this is your stupid hand. What's that stupid artifact they have? Engineer explosives. Look how fancy it is. Pretty fancy. They could actually ask, are you sure you want a mull? That's actually a good point. I don't think mulliganing happens nearly enough that that, that would be, like, detrimental. Plus, they ask you when you want to target your own creature, right? So... What is that, the Old Spice thing? Now it's in my head, because there was an Old Spice commercial on Fleet Bay's phone. You're right. Mike called it? What did Mike call? What did you call? I called the white mana, but you already knew about it, so I didn't really call it. Yeah, but if you didn't know about it, you still called it, right? I guess so. What did you think of being the Hearthstone system? Of I actually considered that. Well, No Land Hands would likely be... Yeah, where you like can decide several cards and mulligan those specific cards back. I don't actually see why you wouldn't do that. So what happened? You played Polluted Delta. You got a land. And you cast Serum Visions. Bring it home, my baby, Bumblebee. All right. Blood Crypt is gone. You're at 12. Nosegad, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Four months in a row. Welcome back. Welcome back. That was a good draw. I guess we're... This seems like a terrible matchup for us. They just yeah, had they just a have lot. So much removal. Yeah. And like, but while the Fairies deck had removal as well, they're mostly playing... Single a, point. Yeah, also. it's one for one. Whereas like this deck has already shown us Engineering Explosives and Anger of the Gods. Plus they're under doing so many things. And it's going to be a land. Oh, it wasn't a land. What a time to be alive. Oh, you're going 10? Good lord. Deal. What a maniac. So now they have engineer explosives in hand and Tassiger. These are the things we know. How many of these are going to play? Two? Okay. God. Oh, man. Good times. Oh, seven sevens. Two seven sevens, huh? Engineer explosives for two. I wish we had bumping that in our deck and we drew two of them. Tassiger. That would be sick. Daybot? Who's Daybot? I don't even know who Daybot is. It's a Always Sunny in Philadelphia reference. I know who Day Dayman is. Right. Who's that's Daybot? The, that's the joke. Is it? That's the joke. I've decided to cut down hard on my streamers that I sub, and I decided that I'll keep this one most nonsense and movie quotes here. And I can't really sleep now without that ice chewing, and my girlfriend won't do it, so... Wow. Oh, my God. So we can either play this guy and then draw a card. If they take one that's 8, 6... Oh, God. actually, we go to 21, so we, we survive. Whoa! All right, so they are at five. 
We know they have engineered explosives, so they're probably going to play it for two. Like you do. Clearly. And they blow everything up. Yeah, it seems safe. Oh. It's aggressive. I don't think we can do anything here. Might as well see the last card. <laughs> yeah, might as well. Liliana, sure. Give it to me. Hey, man. You got three blockers. What's the problem? I guess nothing. Yeah, this matchup seems terrible for us. We've also seen zero removal in both games, I believe. So that's unfortunate. Champion of the day, man. Whoa. Three two dream still alive. Now it is, yeah. All right, let's... God, I'm tempted to keep this because of either while. I think we can do it. It's all right, you'll draw in. They went to six, so they basically already won. All right, let's do it. Did I miss anything salty? Oh, I don't think so, not yet anyway. Well, thank goodness. I don't care if you take my lord, you'll probably take Tide Hall Scholar, because you don't want either of these in the graveyard, so it's basically you have one choice. I will say yes. I will put a counter on my Aether Vial. Hey, we drew a land. Hmm. Good for us. This is not the land you're looking for. Oh god, here we go. Here we go. Oh god. Oh god, here we go. How many how many hollow how many hollow souls? Hollow hollow ones are they putting into play? Oh. None. Okay. Now Felipe is playing God of War. Ooh. Sometimes you just get a little lucky if you know what I'm saying. I bet you do. I have no idea. I bet you know. Unfortunately, this Bloodgast is neither a zombie nor a zombie. <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. <laughs> oh my god, tomorrow is May the 4th. That's actually hilarious. I unintentionally made a May the 4th reference. Oh, I see. Do I play discards a card? That's an interesting choice. 
the deal. Thank you. Actually, I don't want to put this into play. I want to just discard the blood ghast. Right. Huh. You can just cast Lord anyway. Yeah, I can also just play... Cast the Lord. Alright, two turn clock. Plus we have double blood ghast here. If we get any land that produces black, we can play double blood ghast, which both have haste. That is not a land that produces black, but it will get the other blood gas back. I like that poetry. Not a land that produces black, but it will get the blood gas back. That's all I got. It's not. I think they're just dead here. We activate this Mina Vault. Manasio. I give him my mana Manasio. That's Menace. Wow. <laughs> All right. What did we see? Coligon's Command, Lingering Souls, Faithless Lootings. Throw us my last day before I start my new job. My last words out the door will be made of the fourth boot. That's actually good. That's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know why things suddenly got sexual. That's weird. Let's not do that because that's not fun for anyone. Yoakum, I just thought you looked like the card Relentless Dad. Uh, which is I'm gonna bring in the surgical extraction. I'm gonna take out their I'm gonna take out their whole lingering soul life. You might as well bring in both of them. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my lingering dad. What if I was? I didn't see any real creatures I care about using those on. I'm gonna double surgical. I'm gonna collect a brutality. I think. Sure. Sure. The sand seems great. I'm going to click the keep button so that I may confirm the hand will stay. Oh, look, he got you. I don't think that does anything, really. I mean, it stops grave crawl from coming back. Boy, people love playing these, these graveyard things for us, but... It's not really our plan A. Do I just herb work here? Why wouldn't you? Well, I don't want to help them with their mana. And plus, they can tap this for black if they do that, which prevents them from taking damage. I like playing Urborg after they've like cracked their lands and they've taken their land damage. I'll just take two here and play this guy. You are the aggro deck, so. The more advanced players click on Mulligan. Yeah, you could tell as 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 evidence last game. Or, you know, whenever that happened. Oh, Inquisition. Well, whatever you take is going away forever. I got three two drops. Take your pick. Whatever happened to Twitch streaming while while talking into cups? Well, that's only Mike for one. Excuse me. Man, Leyline of the Void. What a time to be alive. I don't really want to discard the collective. I feel like our deck has a uh, significantly better win rate on the play than the draw. Mike, what day is it today in the UK? Today is chicken Sunday. Isn't that every day? Yes. Wow. Sunday. Chicken Sunday. Is Grape Cut in playable magic? Um, in modern? Uh, it might be a little slow. Oh, 
Oh, I don't... Uh, it's too slow for this deck, for sure. Like, we're never getting to six mana, ever. God, there's so many things we can do. I have to I have to assume they have a path or a uh, a lightning bolt. They know we have brutality, so they're probably gonna wait for us to cast it. So I'm not gonna care. They're gonna do it now. Do it now! Uh, I don't think Primeval Titan was ever banned in Modern. I think you just made that up. He's banned in Commander. Commander? More like it. I mean, you were going to kill this guy 1,000%. I don't know why you didn't do it in response to the Gravecrawler. <laughs> That's just a weird choice to make. Anamorphos, what? I don't know what's happening right now. That's annoying. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to exile that. Forever. Gravecrawlers are much worse when we, when we can't get them back. Mm-hmm. Actually, I guess we can wait till your draw step. Why not another one? <laughs> you know what card's really not good against Leyline of the Void? Let's let's find out. It'll be on the top of our deck. Oh, free zombie in your graveyard. Oh, I thought it was that's yeah, sad. Hope you got two lingering souls in hand. You don't. You have a blood crypt and a marsh flats. Sounds good. All right. Well, that's pretty good. This guy just might be able to take over the game on it by its own. Pay costs. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna faithless looting. I see. I see. I will assume you discard the two lands that we just saw. Oh, swamp. So we have blood crypt in hand. All right. Okay. Everybody wins. That's aggressive. No, you changed your mind? Okay. Oh, you didn't change your mind. I don't know what's going on right now. You're being real tricky right now. It's tricky. I don't appreciate your shenanigans. I do appreciate multiple diagraph colossuses, though. Oh, they come to play tapped? That's stupid. Not like it matters, I guess, but that's how zombies work. They always come to play tapped. Well, not always. Josu is untapped, and they're menaces. Then they're then they have Manasio. Manasio del Toro. It doesn't count. Um, that's a cheat set. What? It's a cheat set. What is? Dominaria. I think I'm gonna play untapped. A cheat set. Yeah. What was that? That was a good Colgon's command. That was a good draw. Not as good as mine though. Jace, just kidding. This is an absolutely miserable draw. But I will get in there with this sad, reluctant zombie. Hey, guys. I feel like we're both kind of in top deck mode, but not really. I'll put it. I'll put a thing on it. Sure. I'll put a bird on it. Just one bird. Just one bird, Michael. How many birds do you think you need? All of them. All of the birds? All mm -hmm. of the birds. Yeah, alright. We'll put it on two. <laughs> Ooh. 
How come whenever it's bad to draw that, you draw two of them? I don't know. These guys aren't doing me any favors. You go block, 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 you take four, you go to eight, and then we have a bunch of good dudes on board. Oh, you go to six. Seems good. I mean, there's no point in having this in hand when you have Kolagon's commands in your deck. Actually, it makes sense to hold it, so you have something to discard if you need to hold something good. I'll just play whatever good I get, man. Everything costs three or less in this deck. True. You... Oh, I guess we just win. I guess we just win the match. Thought sees double ley line. This is what happens with sideboard cards like ley line. Our main strategy is not graveyard, right? We're a beatdown deck that can utilize our graveyard. So when you take out resources and put them put in cards that only affect the the like the minuscule part of my graveyard, you're gonna end up drawing too many of them. You basically mulligan to two or mulligan to two for those two ley lines, and they didn't really affect us that much. In case anyone didn't hear it, Mike just bumped his head against his microphone like this. I don't know why. Talented Someone me, thank to. you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the Saltai Brood. What'd you say? Someone had to. No, actually, no one had to. No, it had to happen. Uh, no one had to do it, actually. That was a secret contract. Tell me more. No, I can't tell you anymore. It's confidential. I'm, that sub goal's moving, thanks to you, buddy. I'll move your sub goal. Well, that doesn't make any sense. We're in a godless shrine here. And then we're going to break in some crypts. Break of the crypt, huh? Huh. Huh? You got to do this little hand thing. This is the... Uh... You got to do the little hand thing. Man. I don't know why I invited you to my, to my stream house. No. Your stream house? You heard me. Path Exile. I'll, I accept. You heard me. How do you beat a 3-3, three, three, man? It's actually a 4-4 four, four with Menace. With the, uh, with the, not Menace, but uh, with the thing. So that's pretty bad. I guess we just hope they don't have a second one. Or we take it. Oh, I see. If they do have a second one, it's called a Phantasmal Image. Otherwise, they just Reflector Mage or Tidal of Scholar and play it anyway. Oh, my God. No, they can't do both, I guess. Ugh. Gross. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, we'll just take your image. Aye, 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 aye. Yeah, we just have really no efficient way to, uh... I think you might actually want more fetch lands in the deck, too. Like, just more black-based fetch lands, like Blood Crypts or... Not Blood Crypt, uh, Bloodstained Mire. I have Mike B on contract to smack his head into the mic one to six times a stream, but no more than six. I appreciate... <laughs> I appreciate the limit of six. That's nice. See, he knows. He does know. He's looking out for you. Okay, one, but one between zero and six times, but no more than six. We're not maniacs here, okay? Maybe it should have been Diagraph, but I want to draw the card here, so I don't know. You hear that noise, or is that just ringing in my ears? What noise? Yeah, all right. That's what I was afraid of. You having a seizure? I think we just died. Yeah, this doesn't feel good. Triggered. 
totally triggered. Someone in, someone on YouTube was like, At what point does the snorfing, sobering, sploshing, and generally spreading diseases stop? Like, that's terrible English to begin with. I can't watch this. Please stream when you are healthy. You, you, wrong form of your. And don't sit before your computer when you're sick. In this sense, get well. What does that even mean? I'm just going to say what? <laughs> I have no idea what you're even saying right now. All right. So what are we bringing in here against this humans deck? Probably this guy, right? Yeah, that seems good. Does it, though? Yes. Okay, I'll bring it in. I'll bring it in for you. Just for me? I'm just not oh, a big blood gas fan. Dad. I'm not your dad anymore. I not disowned anymore. you, Michael. Oh, no. I sat in my chair blindly. Thought I was. I thought I sat on my cat. Thankfully, it was my sweater. <laughs> Woo! I'm bringing one Kalidus just for the heck of it. It's not gonna do it. I'll keep this. Um. Yeah, you can stay. I'm actually going to turn two Servant and then turn three uh, Colossus and then turn four Crypt Breaker into Servant. So we can maximize our, our both Servants and, and Diagraph triggers. Oh, did the mic gift show up? Was it everything you guys wanted it to be? Because you're the best around and nothing's going to ever keep you down. Dude's playing God of War while watching a stream. No time to be alive. Is he really? Yeah, I can still hear the God of War, but also the stream. That is actually ridiculous. How's he doing that, you think? I feel like you can't pay attention to both very I well. I agree with you. Like, isn't there a storyline that you want to, like... Matthew Ori, glad to hear it, buddy. Let us know if you get anything sweet. Oh, human on both, huh? A bold strategy. Is oh. the new God of War good? Everyone seems to like it. I mean, the like the ninety-seven percent it got seems like it's uh, seems like it's pretty pretty evident, right? Jokes on you! This guy only deals three when I got Wayward Survey out. Let me draw an up. Let me draw an Urborg here. That'd be great. Wayward Serby. Wayward Serby. I don't know why I said Serby, but you know, sometimes you do what you got to do, right? Today we we're playing all the zombies. Man, this deck has some sweet combies. I would have said com zombos and combos. Okay. They can kill our guys, but they keep coming back. Ramp and power is something we don't lack. If it goes bad, it will not matter. As long as we get all that nice zombie splatter. I lift my hat to Sarah for this deck. I might even try this out, because what the heck. And Mike, don't go over the mic. Hit of six. Just eat some ice if you need a fix. Wow. Yeah, this guy's not going to hit anything. I don't have non-creature spells in my deck, bro. That is a lie. You're a lie. You're the greatest lie that ever ever told. The devil? The, the Dervil? Yeah, the Dervil. God, the we can Dervil. only play one thing here. This is why this is why I hate Mutavolt. We can only play one spell instead of two now. I mean we could play we could play just Gravecrawler and draw a card. Or just Cryptbreaker rather. And hope that that works. And if it doesn't, we can Four, five, three, four, five, six. <gasps> oh, that was like the best possible draw we could have ever asked for. That's amazing. Nope, that ain't it. Wow, that was amazing. 
I've never felt healthier. Y'all move. Brutal. What'd you say, Google? I said brutal. Mike said, Google, hashtag Google. Do I know why? I don't know. I like to giggle things, okay? Giggle? Mm-hmm. But you said Google. It's when you it's when you laugh while Googling something. It's called a giggle. There's a website for it. What's it called? Giggle.com. Giggle.com. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Look it up. I'm not looking up Giggle.com. I don't recommend anyone else do either. It's probably fine, but it's the internet, so you really never know. Dahlia's loot? No. Okay. What are they playing here? That's fine, unless you have a second one, which I don't think you do. You killed my one Crypt Breaker. I understand. I understand your pain. Wow, this is an aggressive attack. Yeah, I wasn't thinking that was a wise choice. We also have Muta Vault and Shambling Vent, so that's cool. Shamble on. Young Vampire. Sure. It still does nothing. What's the best draw we could hit? Kalidus? Lord Vampire, probably. Okay, that's actually good, too. I mean, they take four here, and we get... Oh, actually, they take eight here. Yeah, that's pretty solid. <clears throat> Look at all my triggers. Doing zombie things. I'll take your mage. And then I'll play this guy, too. That practically kills them. They go to two life. How many blockers do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have four. I'll just kill you. Go to the sideboard. <laughs> your deck has a song now. <laughs> Oh god, lemon parties involving lemons. It's no good. Don't man. Google that. <laughs> Alright, this is not good. This is not good. I don't want thought seize. I like collector brutality, but I don't think it's good. It kills very few of their guys. It only of, kills the mana dudes pretty much. Yeah, it, it can kill like an early Thalios Lieutenant or like an early champion, but not really. I think we're just fine like this, I guess. Um, well, we have two removal spells and a Crypt Breaker. I'll keep this. They're on the draw, or on the play, and they went to six. What could possibly go wrong? We could also top deck either Vile, which would be... That'd be pretty good. Yeah, that's why I said it. We... Oh my god, what's happening right now? I feel like I just almost skipped through a, bi a billion turns. All right, we're good, we're good. Oh my god, that's a kitty cat. I was like, what is that noise over there? And then I felt a tail brush against my leg. And I was like, oh my god. What's even happening? Cat's a wizard, man. A wizard? The cat's a wizard, man? Is that what you said? No, I said the cat's, cats are weird, man. Cats are wizard men. You heard it here first. He just went over the wall and, and did this. And then he, like, <laughs> then he stopped and ran away. Well, I don't think he ran away. He briskly, he walked away briskly, let's say. He ran away. Okay. Well, the cat came back the very next day, so it doesn't matter. Was it Mike's tail? <laughs> oh, there's always been a cat. That's what Shrimp Cat is. Land. One time, Michael. Aether Vile. Oh! That's pretty good. They chose Wayward Servant, which is funny because I'll just put it into play for free. I don't even care. <coughs> That's basically a land. You're basically a land. Thank you! It wasn't a compliment. Yeah, I, I took it as one, though. 
Oh my god, Mantis Rider every game? Good lord. Oh, that's worse. Annoying, but... But what? That's it, really. I mean... Kerbrigger is really strong in our deck. Hmm. I am not thrilled with what's happening, but they're... They don't have much. Yet. Michael, just shut your mouth. Oh, this is your Mantis Rider. Never didn't have it. Pew. I hope they don't have a land. Don't have a basic. They always have a basic. They probably got like one. That's it. Snow-covered planes. Wow, what a hipster. But they're drinking a craft beer while they're playing us right now. Some kind of IPA. Some type of IPA. Make me feel some type of IPA. See, here's the problem. I want to play this guy so that we have it in play for this guy next turn, and then we can just start churning out lords. But I also just want to take a card from their hand. So I think we tied Hall. We actually we'll we'll put Tide Hall Scholar into play during their draw step. Um, we'll kill this with Fatal Push so that we can actually play this guy next turn if we hit a land, and then we can just put Diagraph into play for free. Uh, draw step. And if they happen to kill Tide Hall Scholar, then we get to Fatal Push for free. So, not for free, but you know what I'm saying. We get to, with the with the Revolt trigger. So we could kill For free. Mage, mage, champion. I actually don't care about Oriok champion, I don't think. I kind of do. Maybe I do. That's protection from black. That's pretty good. I mean, they're just going to bounce it with their stupid idiot. Reflector mage. God, reflector mage is such a stupid card, man. It's real good. Yeah, what are the odds we can actually kill this? I guess we can gain a million life. So they're going to play land reflector mage. Whatever, I'll just take the reflector mage. I actually kind of like Sculler, but I, I think we have to cut down on the Muta Vault. It's like, having colorless mana when you're, like, look at our mana requirements. We only have, I guess we have, I always, this is not a great hand to show it off with, but, like, Muta Vault on the first two turns is just pretty bad. It just makes me feel some type of way. I want a craft beer. Yeah, but your name is Beer Man Man, so, uh, you know. The best part is that we can actually put this guy into play again with Aether Vial if we want to. Also, if they bounce it, though, they have no pressure. If they just play other, other, other Reflector Mage, they have no pressure, so. I only have two GP Pro Muta Vault, so we can cut them. Yeah, I think that a couple are okay. As you can see, like, a couple actually did a bunch of work this game. Uh, whether we tapped them for a Crypt Breaker or whether we made, uh, made them have mech Menace. They do do some work. I think two is fine. But, like, decks like this are very, very mana intensive. In, in terms of color, not in terms of quantity. Oh, Oh, interesting. Oh, this is very unexpected. That cat said, ow! Ow. I'm totally going to murder this guy. It sounds terrible, but... We need to stay alive as, as long as we can, so...
Yeah, so we're gonna hope we hit land here, so we can play Colossus, or no, so we can play, so we can play Colossus and play, and then play a servant afterward. Oh my god, we're so good at this game. It's pretty good. Why don't you play Wayward Servant first? Uh, because if we play Colossus first, we get a free zombie out of it. Or if we play Servant first, we just get a tri one one life trigger. Oh, yeah. True. <clears throat> All right. Well, you gain a life, but I gain multiple lives. Uh, I think we just want to go with a black here. You're going to gain a bunch of life, but I think we might too, so. Make me feel some level I'm not going to attack because you just block with your pro-black creature and shoot my guy. And that sounds terrible. You old block and shoot. I have the uh, I have the Breaking Bad Todd's ringtone when Lydia calls stuck in my head. How's it go? I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it. You know how it goes. Have you seen Lydia? It's 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 utterly ridiculous. Yep, here we go. You're gonna bounce this guy now, maybe. Are you actually might just bounce this guy so you have it, the other one back? And now I can't play it, but. I don't care. Oh, this guy's whenever you cast a zombie. That's unfortunate. So we can't just start cheating these guys into play. But we still can put them into play. And this guy is whenever he enters a battlefield. So, Oh, all right. Well, that is a zombie. So we will trigger that eventually. We can't play it next turn because of Reflector Mage. So we need to have Reflector Mage at hand. You're going to come at us for one with this Zorak Champion. It feels like the Zorak Champion is better suited staying home. Uh, no. Also, if this is a land... That's actually pretty good. So, we're going to actually attack here with everything but Wayward Servant, because I, I just don't feel like having that guy die. <clears throat> and then we're going to put a Lord of the Accursed into play. For free. For Frito? For Frito. I love, you love Fritos. Fritos. Michael Fritos. Got weird. I'm sorry. It did get weird. I'm sorry. How are you? Maybe it's Maybelline, Michael. Okay. Look, I'll see you later. You'll never see me again. Really? Yeah, after I murder you. Really? Mm hmm. That is violent. My zombie is now big enough to kill your is it static caster. I can play a blood gas so I can keep up fatal push. It's pronounced big enough. Big enough? Mm hmm This guy doesn't do anything. He has no synergy with this guy, this guy, or this guy. I feel like it's almost just better to keep up fatal push. Because they are gonna bounce something, so then we can kill one of the reflector mages. I like that better. Why not Scallium? Oh, you can't, right? Yeah, reflect, Reflector Mage. You know how it goes. So we need to have Reflector Mage and two other cards. That isn't how Frank, that works, Mike B. Frank would haunt you. When? What would I do? When would I haunt him? After I kill you. <laughs> you kill me in your sleep, you better wake up in a dream. That's what they say, right? That is sad. You are a rude person. 
Actually, they're not going to attack with this Reflector Mage. Egg, very aggressive. Do we hold this? I don't think so. I just want to get their guys out of the way. Just no, never again. No, oh, well, that's good. Give me a free zombie. I would like these life gain triggers, but... I think we have enough board presence here to... Uh... <laughs> All right. Like it. Uh, we'll get rid of... Actually... So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... We could wait to get the trigger next turn, but that seems dumb. I'd rather just deal an extra two points. All right, so you have Unclaimed Cavern in hand. I don't think we've drawn Liliana once, except for like hands we've mulliganed, so... And 3-1. All right, sweet. Let's keep it up. I'm currently not playing any tournaments, clearly. Current to Frog, our record is 3-1. <coughs> Going into round four. How you doing? This is, this is Mike's, this is Mike's uh, positioning. Whatever, man. Shut up. Good talk. Good talk. No, it wasn't. It wasn't a good talk. I didn't enjoy our conversation. I enjoy your stupid face. I never enjoy your stupid face. Got him. Uh, let's look. I'm looking up zombies that cost two or less. Less than or equal to two. All right. Uh, this hand actually seems okay. Servant and the Colossus and the Relentless Dead. I'll keep this hand. Oh, here we go. Thoughtseize. Inquisition. Sure. We beat humans, fairies, and like a Mardu deck, I think. Yeah, it was Mardu deck. This is what you are. A mega carrier? Yeah, boy. Wow. Oh, they took the Relentless dead. Interesting. Gotta lead with Courtyard, actually. We can't lead with Mutavol if we want to play Wayward Servant on two, so. <laughs> sure. So long, Diagraph Colossus. I hardly knew ye. How many Colossuses are in this deck? Let's find out. Three? I feel like there should be four. I would take the two Lilianas out. I would also take the Blood Gas out. So, like, Blood Gas and Liliana. Cleans the Pinger revised in near mint for 3450. It's not terrible. That seems, is that good? I don't even know. I can't do the math that that quickly for... Uh, oh, all right. Well. Hmm. I guess we get rid of Lightning Bolt because you need land to cast everything else. And we'll play Mute Vault. And we'll just hope you never hit a land again because I don't care. <laughs> I 
Uh, huh, 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 huh. You heard me. I did. I just. Oh, you hit a land. Look at that. Now it's either Liliana or it's Kolagon's Command. Probably Kolagon's Command. Make me discard an Urborg. Interesting. Interesting. And they're 100% killing this and making this discard. Yep. I'll get rid of Urborg. I'm going to play Mutavault and Liliana. And then we're just going to play in the top. Because this guy dies to Lightning Bolt anyway, so we can kind of engineer a situation where we just have more Lilianas. <laughs> more Liliana loyalty, I guess. All right, so now you have Bloodbraid and Lightning Bolt in hand. No fourth land off the top. Could be good. I mean, any creature you play, we can just kill immediately. Lightning Bolt doesn't do anything. We can play whatever we draw at this point, so... Bloodbird Elf gone. I'm just going to activate both. You can't Abrupt Decay. You can't Maelstrom Pulse here. So you can probably Lightning Bolt 1. Which is fine. And even if you have like double removal spells, your last two cards, like we still have Onboard Liliana and enough mana to cast everything. Kill one, get your Bloodbraid Elf back. That was actually very good. So now you have Bloodbraid Elf Lightning Bolt in hand. Okay. Wait, what did you do? Kolagon's Command. Oh, wait, what did they do? They dealt us two. Oh. oh. That had to be a mistake, right? Yeah, they were probably meaning to deal it to Liliana. But they forgot you. You actually target. Uh, you target the planeswalker now, which is actually very good. So, so that can no longer target planeswalkers. No, it can target any target. They just chose us oh. instead of the planeswalker. Oh, okay. Probably not used to the redirect system yet. Yep, that's. I literally just said all that. <laughs> I didn't hear you. Shut up, man. I'll I was. You. You'll murder me. Yeah. Hmm. For. Sassing me, boy. Huh, you'll murder me for sassing your boy. I don't want to lose Liliana here, but... Like, they also have a significantly... Or... Are we just going to lose her anyway, is the question. Possibly. Yeah, we're just going to make you sacrifice your Bloodbraid Elf. Put you to seven? I doubt you're trading here. That'd be great. <laughs> <coughs> Overgrown Tomb and presumably anything else you can cast. Unless you hit two lands in a row. That would be, that'd be beautiful. All right. <laughs> Double meat vault title on Skullar gets the job done. Seems good. Indeed. Collective Brutality in this matchup is actually much better, I think. Because they have Abrupt Decays, Maelstrom Pulses, Lingering Soul, not Lingering Souls, uh, Lightning Bolts. And they probably bring in things like Anger and Damnation as well. So we can bring these in. Liliana's actually not bad in this matchup because they do have... Uh, 
creatures worth making them sacrifice, and they don't have many. Uh, Kalidus also pretty good. I'm taking all four blood guests out. I just the only the only benefit is being able to discard them to Liliana, but they can't block, and they don't get any zombie synergies. And probably just bring in Path to Exile, or Thoughtsee, Thoughtcast, Thoughtsees, Thoughtcast, Thought Thought Card. And you wanted to cut the mute of vaults. Yeah, I know. I'm, I mean, I like I said, they do pull their they do pull their weight, but they can lead to some awkward draws. Is the problem. I have no love for Bloody G. Unlike Mutavault, Bloodgast has not pulled his weight. He just comes into play as a 2-1. There's so many X3s in, in Modern. Path, I guess. I kind of do want Path, but I also like Thoughtseize. Yeah, I think it's just better as Dread Wanderer. Dread Wanderer is just like a Bloodgast that you can get back from the graveyard. Um, but it also triggers Wayward Servant, it gets buffed with Lord of the Accursed, and uh, it, you can tap it for a Crypt Breaker. Bloodgast an MVP in this matchup? I, I, I don't know about all that, but... I mean, it's kind of good because of the discard for Liliana, but that's about it. Maybe that's true, actually. Maybe I bring it back. All right. Maybe we take out our own Liliana. I'm gonna just bring in, yeah. I'm just bringing. I'll, I'll leave the blood gas in and see see what yeah, see what happens. They do have Kolagon's command and and their own Lilianas. Maybe this is the the matchup for it. Who knows? I'm a dad. Your dad doesn't know anything. Okay. He will once he gets back from that cigarette trip. Maybe he will. You're right. I'll keep this hand. How do you feel about double either vial? It's okay. I'd prefer one. Same. But if they abrupt decay this one... You got a backup. Got backups, boy. Backup, boy. That guy's 1,000% dead. Is he? How are we going to kill it? I thought we had a fatal push in hand. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know that we don't? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I don't know if I do it now or not. I think I do it now. Because like any other time we can we do it and they, they respond to it by killing our guy. Yeah, what a luck sacker. Gotta land. What are the odds to lose all nine coin flips today? Hmm, that seems bad. I imagine the odds can't be that good, right? Jesus, crying out loud. Kolagon's command is such a stupid card, man. It's real good. You gonna come at me? That was a good draw. Call of God's command number two. Lightning bolt. All right. They have so much spot removal as well, but they also have like dark confidant to get it. It's awkward. The problem is keeping vials in play against their abrupt decay. Uh, Colagon's command decks. Oh, Liliana. How oh, nice. Uh, interesting. That seems pretty good. <coughs> Hopefully you can't deal with this, but what do I know? Man, the rich get richer, am I right? Atarkas command's pretty good. 
Well, so long, Lord of the Accursed. Does Craig fake the uh, the vial activation? Because that's pretty funny. The run. Interesting to bring that in. That's a dude. I, I wish I had my Liliana's at this point, but I guess we'd still have to get rid of Dark Confidant. I wonder if they forget about this ability. Even if they don't, we get to kill both of them, which is pretty sweet, and get two zombies out of the deal. Oh, wow. I kind of just want to do it anyway. Yeah, I'd rather gain the five life here. Hope you don't have Fatal Push as like your last card. One of your last three cards, I guess. He activates every turn on the end step. That's really weird, Craig. I mean, it's weird because like... Hmm. I'm trying to figure out if that's useful or not. Inquisition, fantastic. It's like they drew nothing at all. Yeah. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think taking nine is fine when we get back Gravecrawler, make this guy a seven, nine. Oh, they're just going to regenerate their throne, eh? Okay. I like this Kalidas Gravecrawler interaction, but we don't have a way to bring it. Well, I guess we can bring it back to Mutavolt. Hmm. That's pretty good. It's not bad. Let's tap you out. We gained nine. We gained five here, so that's pretty good. <coughs> oh, treetop village, huh? All right. So we're going to two of your five cards. Craig is wonderful. Craig used to write for me when, we, when I was at TCG player. Craig is like one of the most polite guys I've ever met. All right, one down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You can put us to seven here. Oh, no attacks. I'm going to leave you at three because we have no other four drops in our deck. Greg Rusko is as good as the is as good as the, uh, the good guy meme, pretty much. So we can actually play this, activate Mutavolt. You're going to block here. Probably block, like, actually you have this guy too, so... They have no shortage of deedage. This is broken, dude. It's a good combo. I like it. All right, seven eight, your move. Seven eight nine. <laughs> 
I have no desire to attack there. You just activate Raging Ravine. Fatal Push. Okay, that's good to know you have. And I hope you don't have a fetch land, because then our Kalidus dies. Oh my god. Oh of course boy. they do. Fingers crossed you don't have a oh there it is. You just played it. I guess we should have gained seven. <laughs> Tried to kill their Raging Green. Maybe we should have just attacked. I don't know. They are at ten though. Activate. Yeah, that's probably just better. Let's keep up the Kolagons command, I'm sure you have. The universe is a simulation. As long as you don't have a Vetchland. Oh, there it is. I see it. I'll take eight. There are no profitable blocks there. I wish we had better ways to draw cards in the deck. That's really all I want. Because once you run out of gas like this... Well, speak of the devil. Yeah, that's pretty good. Perfect. Nailed it. Are we dead here? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can block here. We take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We go to one. If they miscount, we might actually be in pretty good shape here. We would go to one if they don't have like lightning bolt and land in hand. <laughs> Are you really? Uh, what do they do? They just play Stomping Ground Untapped? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they do have Lightning. They did have Land. They did have Red Land Untapped and Lightning Bolt. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, exactly. Or they're just going to keep up a. Uh, They just keep up any removal spell. Abrupt Decay. Yeah. All right. Or Terminate. Sure. Exaxes. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. Huh? Yeah. This is why I do like paths, which are probably... I'll cut one either vial for one more path. Everything else was great, though. That Kalidus was great while we had him. Oh, God, I don't know what I just did. And Fatal Push kills so many of their dudes. Um, yeah, we can submit like this. I think this is fine. All I said he wants to do is Dominator. First, you on stream, you should do it. When did he say that? Would you like to play first? I will play first. Why hasn't he talked to me? I'll keep this hand all day. He never said that to me. Bring it. Are you bringing it, Michael? Bring what? Exactly. Stupid Mitch. Wow. That's offensive. You're offensive. I'm offended by you. You offend me and my peoples. You have peoples? Yeah. What are they... What kind of peoples you got? Uh, Peoples that meeple, but they don't fall down. Well, you know, weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Did you know about yeah, that? Yeah, and peoples meeples don't wobble when they don't fall down. I have no idea what he just said. But he... Hmm. 
Goif, Pulse, Kolagon's Command, Grim Lava Mancer, Maelstrom, Tom Goif. Well, I'm definitely taking the Kolagon's Command. Get him. I did get him. So you're going to play this, this idiot or this idiot? Overgrown Tomb. Sounds good. Tarmagizzle. My schnizzle. So, we can play Relentless Dead and push this guy. That means you have to waste Maelstrom Pulse on this guy. I kind of like that. Or we can just draw a card because I think I think having more cards is probably better, right? Okay. I feel like we can if we can outcard them, we're in good shape. I should have played the stupid lane. Well, no, because I know I wouldn't have been able to do it. I didn't have a second black, so I guess we can actually just wait, right? Or maybe you pulse. You have to pulse this guy, right? Or you have to pulse the. Uh, you have to pulse this guy. You're not his daddy. He can do what he wants. And you're right. I'm not. I'm not his daddy. And yeah, you have to pulse that guy. Hey man, you ever been in a catacomb before? Yeah, man, I go all the time. Every day? Not every day, but. How, how frequently would you say you go? You know, like probably twice a week. You go to the catacombs twice a week? Yeah. Pretty much. Ooh. You gotta check up on them, you know? No, you don't. Keep them fresh? No. Spray them with Febreze. Do you? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, do you feel like they're your catacombs to, to, to Febreze? No, but someone's got to, you know? That's a real response. It's a public service. Really. You're a public service. You're a public servant. Oh, Terminate. I see. Well, enjoy your Maelstrom Pulse back, your Kolagon's Command back. I'm sure he will. Oh, I know, I know he will. So that guy's gone. <laughs> so this is pretty good. <laughs> so you're definitely going to Kolagon's command this guy and make me discard a land and then you're going to shoot something else well, that's pretty annoying or you kill these two because I don't have the mana up now discard him who am I disc oh Gravecrawler um, that doesn't really fit into my land plan here unfortunately alright so you did kill one of them I do not have that. No. Still no. Did they not make me discard? What did they do? Did they steal me two? That's obnoxious. I think there should be four Relentless Dead. Relentless Dead is one of the strongest cards in this deck if you have the mana for it. This is what I hate. Actually, we can make a guy here. That seems fine. Oh, they grabbed Goyf back. Okay, that's pretty good. So they have Goyf, Pulse, Treetop. I guess we don't need to name the other ones. Sure. Sure. 
really surprised you're in a not you're not killing this crypt breaker. Hey, yeah, look at that! How fancy! That's a combo. Calm bones connected to the red bone. The red bones connected to the snapcaster mage. Getting rid of your Tarmogoyf again. Hope you have lots of lands. I'm sure you do. You got lots of uh, treetop villages and raging ravines. All right, well. The song could be better. You could be better. Got it's him. rude, man. You're rude. I'm trying my best, okay? That's not what your mom said. Wow. That's rude of her. Here we go. Damnation. That'd be real good. I would cry so loud. Okay, just Blood Bird Elf. Into an abrupt decay. So long. Now Crypt Breaker's going to get it, right? Yeah. Okay. And then you, go, you Maelstrom Pulse these guys. You have to. Okay. Seems good. And now we're going to top deck a Crypt Breaker. It's not bad. Turn it to negative two, kill you. Actually, I don't know why we cared about that, but I don't think I don't think it matters. I'm trying to pay a black here. That's a big guy. It sure is. So is that, though. How big is this? Like a 6-6? Six, six? Hey, nailed it. What do you do about my grave crawlies? Theoretically, should have played this after. I guess we were hasty there. We should have played, should have played, uh, should have done that attack first. Then played this guy to make him even bigger. But I think this worked out well. They're at three. Actually at two. That's what I meant. What did I say? Three? Mm -hmm. Obviously, I meant two. Well. Oh, 4-1. Hey. Killing the Jun deck, no less. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's open these treasure chests as part of the, uh, you know, the whole thing. Oh, we also have one player rewards pack. Let's see what's in there. A snap. Okay. Great. Wonderful. Let's open all these bad boys. Oh, I got this treasure chest avatar. I think that's actually pretty rare. A lotus bloom. A foil mog sentry. Temporal cascade. A bunch of junk. Brainstorm. Perplexing chimera. And a pulse of the dross. I don't know if any of these are worth anything. So I'm just going to save them. So that I can look them up at a future date. We can't trade the avatar. So that doesn't really matter. But All right. Either way. Deck performed pretty okay, I think. Um, I think I definitely want a 22nd land. A 20, 20 second land, yeah. Um, probably more fetch lands. Blood. Crit. No? You don't want to find a blood crypt? Oh, there you go. How about blood cry? There we go. No, I keep saying blood crypt. Bloodstain mire. All right, so we put the bloodstain mire in. Um, I like, I said, I don't like blood gas that much. I think another relentless dead is just hundred percent better, um, for the deck than, I also don't like rule of law. Cause this isn't a deck where you're going to be able to be like, cast this on turn three. And it's a one of like, it's a really obscure one of, 
I would rather just have like a fourth, fourth path. Yeah, fourth path is good. Or one extra fatal push on the sideboard. It's just really obscure. Uh, I don't. I just don't even think the Lilianas were that great. Like we just didn't need them. And I'd rather have like I think Diagraph Colossus and Relentless Dead are two of the biggest engines for the zombie deck. And I think that was evidenced in the matches, right? Like Diagraph Colossus. Once you get it online with Wayward Servant, you're you're like once you make a zombie, um. You're playing a zombie and then making another zombie, so you get, like, two triggers for every time you can do that. Did you want to cut down the mutabolts, too? I did. I think you can probably cut one. I'd cut two. It's kind of good. I do like Smuggler's Copter. But I don't really want to tap. If I'm tapping my zombies, why aren't I just attack? Like, the problem was we didn't have enough cards in the deck. I guess we could discard grave crawlers. I actually like damping sphere a lot. I would put two damping spheres in the sideboard at the very least. And I'd probably cut I don't know if I, I care about fragmentize. Or I don't know if I care about surgical either. Like the problem is the decks you're playing surgical against, like you're probably just not gonna win. <laughs> If, like, Surgical is your answer, like, I mean, what, what are we really playing Surgical against? Like, is Blood Scrivener a zombie? That is a zombie. If you would draw a card while you have no cards in hand, instead of draw two cards. I actually like that a lot. Seems decent. Yeah, I think that's better than Blood Gast, for sure. Uh, we did need another land. Is there a better three godless shrine probably just the fourth godless shrine yeah that makes sense you do want to be able to hit your white sources also i like blood scrivener because uh i guess i don't know why oh urborg number two could work too yeah you could also do we want smuggler's copter though i don't know it's a little awkward to crew it sometimes it's really good with the the two mana one one though. The two mana one one. Yeah. Well, unless you draw a card. Oh, it's a two one. No, 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 the other one. The the, the dude that like you tap three zombies and. No, it's one mana. Yeah. You oh, said the two one, mana oh, one one. Oh, it's one mana. Okay. Come on, man. I think it's good like this. I actually like this. I so the thing is when you we went four zero with the, four one with the deck right, which is pretty good, especially because we went we went up against Jund, uh, went up against humans, we went up against uh, Mardu, which is not nothing. Like there's a ton of removal in the Mardu deck. Skirk Ridge Exhumer. Is that like a future sight card? Yeah, it is. Well, planar is that future sight planar chaos? Yes. This card card could have one black zombie goblin named Festering Goblin. Oh, it just makes Festering Goblins. That's pretty cool. Huh. I actually don't hate one of those. That might be better. Like, just because it gives you an outlet. Like, just throwing away a Gravecrawler to just recast it is really good. Yeah. Um, I don't know what you cut for it, though. Um, I feel like there was something I wanted to cut anyway. Like, I could see one blood... One blood scrivener getting cut. I, I don't know. This card This card is suspect. Like, I'm not I'm not 100% on it. But, like, anything that makes zombies with Diagraph Colossus or... Well, I guess Diagraph is only on cast, though, to be, to be fair. Um, which is why Gravecrawler is so great. Um, but being able to just put guys into play when you have Wayward Servants, that was actually very strong. Same thing with, with Lord of the Accursed and Menace. But the problem is with Lily, you don't actually need the discard outlet as much because you're not, you took out the blood gas. And also like being able to discard a blood gas just to get a 2-1 back, it wasn't super impressive. And I also think Lord of the Accursed and Diagraph Classes are both better than Messenger. And Messenger is great. I think Messenger is great. But I do, I do think that, um, I do think that R3 drops currently are better. 
Um, as far as Cemetery Reaper goes, like, like Lord of the Accursed is just better, right? It's a two three instead of a two two for one. Uh, it's giving you the same zombie buff, but like it's three mana to make a zombie. I think the menace was so relevant. Like, yeah, seems better. Yeah, the menace was relevant like multiple times in those matches. Um, our cyber is currently at seventeen, so this is gonna deal with Tron. So I would actually take Fulminator Mages out. I don't like adding more three mana cards to the deck. I think the deck is fine. Like with two with with like two being the 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 topish area of the curve. I would, however, add like two more. Like I guess you only have room for one. I would add one more discard spell, like an Inquisition. Again, I don't like Surgical though. So I'd probably add a second. Ingu hey, but the problem is, so here's the problem with this with the deck right now. Oh, uh, and not not the deck in general, but like just uh, tribal decks in general. Is that like? There's very few cards you feel like you can cut. I feel like we got away easy because we were cutting um, non zombies, blood gas, basically, yeah. But like, I think if you're playing against like a Tron deck or a uh, a combo deck, these are going to be your first four cuts, and then possibly, probably this guy. So like, you have five slots for something like that. So, I mean, against Tron, you're probably going to bring in like three, four, five. Actually, I'd probably add another Damping Sphere, to be quite honest. So I'd bring in three of these and, like, two two Thoughtsies for Tron. Um, against, like, Storm, I would do the same thing. Bring three Damping Sphere and... Uh, I would bring in a second Inquisition, so, like, you'd have this and this. Um, is there any, like, card draw? What kind of zombie card? Oh, Withered Wretch actually is probably... I would actually just put Withered Wretch in the sideboard. Someone mentioned that earlier. It's basically just a mono black uh, scavenging ooze, right? I mean, I guess you can only get one, but... It might be better than the two Collective Brutality. I, I don't know, like... Collective Brutality is good, though. Uh, I feel like Withered Rest is probably better than Jailer, right? But, I mean, I think, think they both have their their uses. The problem is Yixla's Jailer is is universal. Um, so it says cards in graveyards lose abilities so that you can't cast your own grave crawlers. Or uh, I'm pretty sure... I don't know if this guy triggers or not. It probably tr still triggers because this is when it dies. So it's a... Yeah, I would keep, keep Brutality then. Um, but also adding this should help against control as well. And I I guess I would probably cut one fragmentized for another withered wretch. I like two withered wretches. Especially because they're zombies, so they don't really go against the theme here. And I actually think this looks pretty good. I would feel comfortable with this deck. And we went 4-1, so I'm, I actually think the deck looks good. And uh, hopefully that helps. And hopefully you... Uh, sorry, if you play this deck, let me know how it goes. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. If you guys are interested in having me take a look at your deck, run it through a league, and give you my feedback as we go, uh, definitely check out my Twitch profile. It's in there. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.